What's up, everybody? Fuzzy Games back here. So today, let's learn how to make a teleport GUI. So essentially, there's going to be a screen GUI, and you'll be able to teleport anytime you click on the uh, buttons. So right now, I have these three parts, so the red, blue, and yellow parts, and I want to teleport to either of these parts by clicking on the screen GUI, a teleport GUI. So first thing we want to do is inside of starter GUI, let's go ahead and add a screen GUI. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this screen GUI to teleport. It's nothing too important, but this is just for my reference just so that I know what this screen GUI is. So inside of my screen GUI, let's go ahead and add a frame and then configure the frame to wherever you want it to be. And then let's go ahead and change the color of it. And I'm going to go ahead and add a UI corner just so that the, so I can have the rounded corner so that it's not very sharp. Just for aesthetic reasons, you don't have to do this if you don't want, but I personally like the UI corners and how it looks. And then we're going to go ahead and add a text label. And this is where it's going to say teleport. Cool, so once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and add a text button for each part that we wanna teleport to. So because we have three parts, the red, blue, and yellow parts, those are three parts, we're gonna go ahead and add three text buttons inside of our frame. So these text buttons essentially is anytime, let's say if you wanna click, if you click red, then I'll be teleported to the red part. If you click blue, if you click yellow, then obviously you'll be teleported to those parts. So these buttons, go ahead and configure them to however you want it to look. I'm just going to do something pretty simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the text button name to red, blue, and yellow. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. Go ahead and click our teleport GUI. Or Oh yeah, I'll teleport to UI and then tick enabled so that you don't see it. And then inside of our workspace, let's go ahead and add a folder. You can rename this to, I'm going to do teleport parts. Or teleport position, actually. And essentially what we're going to do is add um, transparent parts above the area that we want to teleport to. So I'm going to have a part right above the red part, and I'm going to do the same for my blue and yellow parts. So I'm going to make sure to anchor that and then untick can collide so that anytime we teleport to it, we don't touch this part. We just kind of drop, we kind of pass by, pass through it. Oh, that's right, I forgot one thing. So for our text buttons, make sure to rename them the same as our parts. So what I mean by this is, I'm gonna rename my text button to red, blue, and yellow. So our teleport position parts will also be red, yellow, and blue. So make sure that both of those names matches or else this won't work. Cool. So once that's done, let's go ahead and head over to replicated storage and add a remote event. I'm going to rename this to teleport, but whatever you rename it to, make a note of that because we'll be referencing that inside of our script in just a second. Cool. So go ahead and add a local script inside of our frame. So inside of the script, what we have is for I button pairs. Essentially what we're doing here is referencing all of our text buttons. And then for any time a player presses the, the teleport GUI, the red, blue, or yellow button, then it's going to fire the remote event. Awesome. So let's go ahead and add a script inside of server script service. So what we have here is our variable. And then we're going to have a function where if the remote event is fired, then our character is going to be teleported to our teleport position parts. So 
Essentially, what it means is anytime we press the red, blue, or yellow button, then we'll be teleported to the teleport position parts. You know, those three parts that we added inside of the teleport position folder, the parts that are right above the areas that we want to teleport to. That was a mouthful, but that's essentially it. So we have two pretty simple scripts and that's it. Cool. So everything should work fine, hopefully. So right now that's how it looks so far. I have my little teleport GUI on the side of the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click play here and then try it out. I click red, ta-da, I'm teleported to the red part, the blue part, pretty cool. And then if I click on yellow, I'm gonna stand out, ta-da, I'm teleported to the yellow part. So it works, yay. So it's pretty simple. Um, you know, you guys can totally do this. If you guys have any questions, you know, hit, Hit me up on our Discord or leave a comment down below. But as always, if you enjoyed this content, leave a like and give us a subscribe. And as always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.